everybody out there in the uh, music bell community this is my comment just sorter 777 and this is my entry into ron haggerty's uh, seven contest and uh where he has seven questions six or seven questions and uh so let's get right to it the first question he asked was a band with seven letters and that was no no brainer for me here is striper soldier command and uh, of course the letters has uh, there's seven letters in name so, and as you may know, uh, Striper is one of my favorite bands. I have all the music on CD and some of their albums on vinyl. And they're one of the first Christian hard rock metal bands I got into back in 1985. And this is the album that uh, This One Young Black Attack was the first two albums I got into with them. So here you have it, Striper uh, and Soldier Command, Under Command. The next one is the album, t the album title is Seven in it. So what we have here is seven the best of striper has a seven and this is their compilation album that they did uh so when striper started to get back together again back in 2003 uh michael sweet wanted to front the band instead of brother robert which robert front the band back in uh, 84 93 before they broke up um in that time period and so uh in michael sweet's book uh honestly um the one of his managers entertained a thought of striper reforming uh to help with solo career so i guess uh when striper regrouped back in 2003 they wanted to do a temporary mug suite wanted to do on a temporary basis to see where it goes and so what they did they put a compilation album with a couple new tracks something in for you and the rest of this album has got all their uh, hits and their songs from the first uh six albums from uh, Young Black Attack and up till their 1991 compilation album Can't Stop the Rock is a track from, from that album called uh, Believe. Uh, one, one, of two new, one of the two unreleased tracks from that album. So this is Seven of Best of Striper. Next question he asked was an album uh, that was released in the year uh, that ends with seven. So what you have here is Rob Rock, which is one of my favorite singers. Garden of Chaos, and this came out in 2007. Uh, this was the last solo album he came out. Uh, of course, he went on to do other projects since then, like Impel Theory, and another and his own band, Driver. He, re he reformed that band, and uh, this is a great album. Uh, it has 11 tracks in this album. Uh, this great, great album. Um, the next one is album with seven songs. So here is Dream Theater. Train of Thought, and this is actually their seventh album, and has seven songs, as you can see here. And uh, Dream Theater wanted to go into, into a hit more heavier, intense metal direction. Uh, they put out uh, Six Degrees of Inner Tur Turbulence back in 2002. This one came out in 2003, and uh, they wanted to put in more of a heavier album, where Six Degrees of Inner Tur Turbulence had a mixture of, say, hard rock metal songs and more uh, letter songs, sort of mixture. I think most of it was like uh, hard rock metal, uh, but this one here is, is every song. This one's totally heavy metal. So there you have it. Um, another one is a seven-minute song. I do some research on this, and uh, so I actually have two songs here. That's roughly around seven minutes long, a little more seven minutes long. Here's Baron Cross, to, and they got the title called uh, an album track called Two Thousand Years," uh, which is about right here somewhere. And that's about seven minutes and nine minutes, seven minutes nine seconds long, give or take. So it's a great. This is one of my favorite Baron Cross albums, and of course I love the artwork. And uh, as you may know, it comes uh, when I got this in the mail, it comes in a sort of bluish jewel case, which is I think is great. And uh, two thousand years, one of my favorite Baron Cross songs. And another one. This is Dream Theater again. Uh, Images and words, and the song called Under a Glass Moon, which is a six track on the album. And uh, this one, this is a this is a great album. Uh, I think this uh, the first album came out called Dream Day Unite. Uh, was more a different sound, different vibe to the album. This one here, I think, uh, paved the way. I think this album was more a template to their other releases that that we we know and love from Dream Theater. Um, uh, the, the the way this album was mixed and produced and written. This is sort of a template to their to their next several releases after after this album. So, yeah, Under Glass, Under Glass Moon is a great tune. So, and um, the seventh album for, album from a band. 
Uh, here is the seventh album from the band the Res Band, uh, called Between Heaven and Hell. And uh, this is a great band. Back back to before with Striper. This is one of the first Striper Res Band uh, was two of the first hard rock metal bands together back in 1985 when I first discovered Christian hard rock metal. And this is another great album. A lot of great songs in this album. Uh, uh, like for example, Main Event, Love Comes Down, Walk On, uh, I Think You Know, Shadows, Save You From uh, Shadows, Nervous World in 2000. Great tunes. Um, if you like that blues based hard rock uh, sound, uh, sort of raw sound, uh, check out these guys. If you like ACDC, Aerosmith, uh, with hints of Van Halen type guitar soloing, because uh, Stu Hush guitar player is a great guitar player, it's sort of underrated. Um, to check out these guys, the great, great band. Um, uh, you know, they have a strong Christian message, but if you like, like that blues based hard rock, check out these guys. Great, great, great band. Um, also, uh, I guess the last question Ron, Ron asks is, what, what do I like about his channel? Uh, my thoughts. Um, before I actually subscribed to anybody, uh, a couple years ago, uh, I kind of looked on to, like, people like uh, Scott Waters, Ron Haggerty, um, who else? A bunch of other people, and uh, I kind of looked on to them. So I started watching their videos and that kind of thing. And uh, like an in, and Ron, as I came and came and got uh, came and know about Ron, uh, he um, he's a believer. He likes both Christian and non-Christian music. I like mostly Christian music myself. I don't collect much non-Christian stuff. I probably Dream Theater, a couple other bands, because uh, 90 90 percent of my stuff is all Christian oriented or pro-Christian, um, or band members that are Christian, uh, both Christian non-Christian band members and, and bands. Um, so uh, I do like some of Ron's spiritual views. Uh, I do like his taste in music. Uh, I'm not really into the death music or the doom music. I like mostly the old school hard rock, uh, metal rock, uh, old school style music. Like for, um, I like um, glam, commercial, hard rock, classic, hard rock, rock of course, um, progressive music, technical music, and a bit of thrash. So that's my style, of course. A lot of music Ron shows is kind of my style music. Not all of it, a lot of it is. And of course, Ron's kind of laid back fellow. And when I, and, and I actually, uh, Ron lives in Clearwater, Florida. I actually went to visit uh, Orlando, Florida back in uh, last year in July. Uh, I went to, went to Disney. I was hoping to hook up with Ron, not realizing there's a two hour difference uh, between uh, travel time between Clearwater, Florida and Orlando. I was hoping to meet up with him uh, when I was down there back in mid-July last year, but it didn't work out. So, because uh, a two-hour journey to get to here, to, to from get to where I was, and I never had a car because we flew in. So, but hopefully, if I'm in the area of Florida, I can certainly visit Ron there. He can come up my way to where I'm staying at. Because we're out, we do plan on taking a trip to Florida sometime next few years to visit uh, some other states in Orlando, or maybe a different place like Universal Studios or smaller place. Maybe me, Ron, you and I hook up down there and uh, hang out for a bit and that kind of stuff and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, anyway, that's all I have right now. And, um, Ron, I hope you like my contest entry. All the best, guys. Bye now.